Okay, C. Lindelof videos calculus in the product rule number 7. We're given this function, y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 5x, I'm sorry, negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4 times the quantity negative 3x squared plus 2, and we're asked to find the derivative, y prime. I guess the first thing I would do really quickly is remind you of this, that when we're looking for the derivative, ddx, of a function that's created through one function being multiplied by another function, there's a formula that we use, and that's the product rule, and it says that we take the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first. So this is actually a really simple rule uh, to use, but you have to memorize the rule. And then what you have to do is make meaningful lists. So we know the parts that we need. We need the first function. We need its derivative. We need the second function. We need its derivative. So let's gather our parts with this list right here. So the first function, f of x, is equal to this negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4, right? We need its derivative, and its derivative is negative 8x to the third plus 10x, right? So I took this function, then I put it here, and then I took its derivative, and I put it here, just gathering my parts. The second function was negative 3x squared plus 2. The derivative of negative 3x squared plus 2 is g prime at x, which is just negative 6x, right? From Once you have this, right, you've done the most important things. A, you've memorized the rule. B, you've created this meaningful list. Once you have those two things together, you can start to do, get your work done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4, right? The first function times the derivative of the second function, which happens to be negative 6x. And then it says here that we're going to add those. So this is that. And then I'm going to take the second function, which is negative 3x squared plus 2 times the derivative of the first function, which happened to have been negative 8x cubed plus 10x. So this is my derivative, y prime. If you're asking me, do you have to simplify this? Depends on who your professor is, frankly, or it depends on what exam you're taking. But this x can be cleaned up pretty easily. I'm just not doing it for time's sake. What I wanted to introduce you to or wanted to reinforce to you is that you need two things. Most importantly, you need to memorize the rule. And secondly, you need to build a list that you can pull the parts that you need and plug them in. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.